It has everything to do with knowing the meaning of the name and transliterating or translating that name into a different language. I'm more in favor of translating as opposed to transliterating. Transliteration is fine if you understand that it's transliterated and not translated. Let me explain. Like, for example, we got some other words, not necessarily names, but other words such as baptism, baptize, that's transliterated from the Greek baptizo. For some reason, the English translators way back in the day decided not to translate that, which I think they should have, but they transliterated that, meaning that they took the pronunciation of the word and they put it in English. They used the English letters, for example, instead of Greek letters. And, and sometimes when it comes to the Hebrew, that's what happens as well. They transliterate certain words instead of translate. More times than not, transliterating a word or a name causes confusion. Transliterating words, it's misleading because it makes it sound like it's something that it's not. Like, for example, baptism. It means to submerge. Back in the day, they said they found a recipe. Not too long after the New Testament period, they found a recipe for making pickles. And it says that, you know, you take the cucumber, you baptize it in the brine. And the baptism is not sprinkling or just dabbing you know, a little bit of brine on a cucumber. It's actually submersing the cucumber in the brine and leaving it there until the flavor and the brine completely saturates the cucumber. And that's what makes the pickle. So when you get baptized, especially if you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, you are to be submersed. You are to take on the same flavor, the same everything. You are to be saturated with the Holy Spirit not just sprinkled or dabbed. The word apostle is a transliteration of the Greek word apostolos, which simply means to be sent. If I call little Johnny to me and I say, hey, Johnny, can you go to the other room and get me my glass of water, please? And he goes, by definition, he's my apostle because I send him to do something. He is sent by me. Even if it's something like getting a glass of water, I am, in essence, by definition, making him my apostle. If he does what I ask him to do, he is my apostle. Same thing if you ask someone to do something. If the Lord asks somebody to do something for him, it doesn't have to be anything magnificent, even something small. That person, whether it's you or me, is by definition an apostle. So, my point is this, when you transliterate a word, it's misleading because it makes it sound like it's something that it's not. Like apostle, it's got this boombastic tone to it. It's like, wow, apostle, wow. It's really no big deal in its own definition. It depends on who you are sent by, I suppose. You know, If you're sent by God, you're sent by the Lord, it is a big deal. Now, this is exactly what happens when it comes to names. Names are transliterated more than they are translated. Sometimes they're translated. There are sometimes in the Bible, and it depends on which translation you're reading, you're not reading the transliteration of the Hebrew or Greek, you're reading a translation, which in my opinion is even better. It would be better if a name was translated as opposed to transliterated, because that way you understand it's got nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with the way you you pronounce it. It's got everything to do with what it means. God is not concerned in the least bit about how your earthly lips and tongue, it doesn't matter to God at all what kind of sound waves are produced by your earthly lips. Rather, what you interpret that to mean. That's where it's all at. See, a lot of people can't think that deep. The Western cultures, they put a whole lot more emphasis on the sound of a certain word or the sound of a name. Oh, that sounds pretty. That's a pretty name. As opposed to what does it actually mean? So back in the day, the name of a person told you everything about that person. Who is that person? Literally, if you are a blacksmith or whatever the case is, you'd be Smith. And your first name would tell someone who you are. Your last name would tell somebody either what your occupation is, where you're from, or who your family is. Like Bar Jonah means son of Jonah. Barsabas means son of the father. A name meant something. 